go ahead and change it to one. Yeah, that, that looks good. And then press the launch button. What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is the Sharpen Virtual Pinball Machine. This thing is amazing. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it. Now, if you click on the link below, you go to digital-pinball.com. You can check out all their virtual pinball machines ranging between $100 all the way up to $500 for the Sharpen Ultra. That's the one I currently have. They also have ones that are powered by Android, Switch, and PC. You just choose whatever you want. And they're making a full-size virtual pinball machine, and they are accepting currently pre-orders you put $100 down and lock yourself in for a full-size virtual pinball machine. Check out the link in the video description below if you want more details about that. Now, the Sharpen Ultra that I currently have is around 13 and a half inches wide and 21 and a half inches in length. And it's powered by Android. The CPU is a quad-core 1.8 gigahertz CPU and the memory is 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Storage is 64 gigs of storage. And it's running on Android 9. The wood is pre-cut. You do have to build it. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes to build. It's a lot of fun if you build it with someone else and it becomes sentimental afterwards and you'll probably create some really good memories if you build it with someone that you care about. And it does come with buttons and it does come with an arcade button encoder that connects the buttons to the Android box via USB. It comes with two USB speakers. Yes, it's powered by USB, but if you want something beefier, you can always upgrade everything. Like you upgrade the buttons, you can upgrade the speakers if you wanted to, and you can even upgrade if you wanted a back glass monitor. Uh, this thing is really customizable in the future. You could really do a lot with it. And I'm gonna show you some of the upgrades that I did. It comes with a 22 inch LCD screen and also side decals, plastic rails, screws, and instruction manual. You see right here, it's in sleep mode and it only uses around three to four watts. To wake it up, you just press the start button right here. I labeled everything so you guys know. And once you hit the start button, it automatically wakes up to the last scene or the last game you were playing. Uh, so right here is the nudge button. Now these are the buttons that it comes with. But I swapped out the flipper buttons for a true authentic arcade flipper buttons. I also added plexiglass and I closed it in right here and up here. It does come with these borders on the sides. I also added the speaker stands and they fit nicely. And I screwed them into the cabinet right here. Of course, I pre-drilled the holes and then I used black wood screws. So when you move this, everything is attached nice and secure. I also added a bracket just to be sure that everything's gonna stay together. And I added accelerometer, but I have yet to get that working. Now accelerometer is for tilting. So if you wanna shake it, it would actually nudge the machine instead of using these buttons to nudge. Now when I start a game and I wake it up, I'm going to go ahead and show you. It jumps from 3 to 4 watts to 22, maybe 23 watts. Not too bad. Now my wife and I built this and it was a lot of fun building it. It took about maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Everything comes in one box, which is nice. Everything comes pre-cut and pre-drilled. You line up the screw holes with the screws and screw away. Slap on the decal and you need a razor to cut out the holes for the buttons.
comes with double-sided tape and you want to place the Android box right there in the middle. Basically everywhere I set mine up is what the instructions told me to do. And the double-sided tape is really strong. Nothing's going to move. The instructions were really easy to read to connect the buttons. And right here we're using Rockville 36 inch speaker stands. Using a wooden drill bit, we're gonna pilot the hole and screw in a black wood screw to connect the cabinet to the speaker stands. Make sure you press the power on button before you put everything back together. Now you want to download some apps. I like to download the Williams Pinball app. It's one of my favorite apps. The Zen Pinball and Pinball Arcade. I did upgrade my flipper buttons to arcade quality flipper buttons. So when you set up your monitor, you want to go hit that button behind the monitor. And once you press the button, go up, press the button again. And then go to picture, go to the right. and select dynamic contrast i think it looks the best once you select that then you go down to game mode and you want to go ahead and turn that on so this is the back of the pinball machine and this is the speaker stand right here and it is screwed in as you notice right here right here this is a four-way usb hub i added this is the usb adapter for the navigation remote and this is where I plugged in the accelerometer. I'm trying to get that working, but I have no support from the designer of this little device. Now I set the timer on the settings for one minute. So after one minute of not touching any buttons, it'll go to sleep and be in sleep mode and the screen will turn off like that. And then wake it up, you just hit the button. Now the one issue I did have, and what I had to do is just move these apart these sometimes touch and you want to separate these connectors. The upgrades I do recommend is the plexiglass, the flipper buttons exchange for true authentic flipper buttons, and the speaker stands I think is a really nice addition. Now when you first turn it on, of course, you have to sign in using your Google account. Now this little remote really does help out. I like it. And that's in the Ultra version. When you get the standard version, you're not going to get the motion remote. Now Pimble Arcade I downloaded. And you, I believe you get one free Pimble table, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Pimble tables are mainly Gottlieb tables from the 70s and the 80s. Now Williams Pimble is probably my favorite because I'm a huge Williams Pimble fanatic. 
I actually have a Williams pinball machine in my garage. And these are the best pinball machines from basically the 80s and the 90s. Zen Pinball is more of a computer-based over-the-top kind of pinball experience. So you can navigate using the buttons if you wanted to. Uh, this is up and this is down and this is the back button, this is start. And these are, you know, if you want to navigate left and right. But it's so much easier to navigate using, you know, a pointer. So click on my tables. I bought a few tables actually. Um, Haunted House is one of the tables that are actually currently on the Legends Pinball. I hit the star button. Now, of course, you can change the angles. Here's the viewing angle. Right up here. I believe, yeah, this is the back button right here. This is nudge, forward nudge. And this is, I see, side nudge. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, press and hold this button. And that pulls back the plunger. And it's 1080p, 60 hertz. It's running real smooth. Really no lag. Now some of the games, the nudge buttons do work and some of them you need Octopus to launch it and then overlay and program the nudge buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Williams. Now these are the, um, some of the games I bought. I bought Attack from Mars, really good. Medieval Madness is probably one of my favorites. And Getaway. The Getaway is really a fast paced arcade game. And the purpose of this game is you have to increase your RPMs and then you shift gears by hitting the launch button. And then you get to select different gears. You, of course, you want to go to the fifth gear, which is the highest one. You get super jackpot, and it's multiple, a whole lot of action going on. It's a lot of fun. You just use the, um, the clicker, and you can change that view. So this is a little bit closer view. Press and hold the button to launch. This is a super fast pinball machine. This is one of the fastest pinball machines ever made. And of course, I'm demonstrating horribly because I'm on camera. And that kickback is nice. So instead of the bowl draining, it kicks it back out and it lands in this hole. Here, see that supercharger? You gotta check that out in real life. That thing's even better. So I got the jackpot right there. I'm going to try Medieval Madness, everyone's favorite. And let's go ahead and customize, make sure yeah, it's turned on, the visual effects, and hit play. I am the king of pain. My men will destroy you. And once again, you can change the view. Let me go ahead and change it to one. Yeah, that, that looks good. And then you press the launch button. This is the game I want for Legends Pinball, but I don't think they'll get the rights for it. So you have to keep on hitting the castle door until it comes down, and then you shoot the ball in the castle to destroy the castle and defeat the evil king. So there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six evil kings you gotta defeat. And the last one is King of Pain. I'm fighting King uh, Earl of Ego. Now, if I was going to buy this pinball machine in real life, it's $15,000. <laughs> and they get sold out quick. Yeah. Expensive hobby, right? That's why these virtual pinball machines are a hot seller. 
You don't have to spend five or six thousand dollars on a real pinball machine. You could spend just like a fraction of that and it get similar experience. And you get all the pinball tables all in one. I love that effect with the dragon and the castle. Williams made this pinball machine back in 1997 and still considered the best pinball machine of all time over 20 years later. Let's go ahead and check out Zen Pinball. This this has the most pinball tables out of all of them. All right, now it does come with Sorcerer's Lair. That's free, and that's really good, actually. Now, I really want the accelerometer to work. I don't know. If you guys have any idea how to get that working, let me know, because I would love to get that working on here. I downloaded the software. It still doesn't work. I try to connect it using Bluetooth. doesn't see it. It was like 25 bucks. Uh, I, want to, I was going to hold on to it just in case I, I could find some support later on for it. If I do, I'm going to post another video. You get Universal Studios, Back to the Future, Jaws, and E.T. Uh, Marvel, you got Deadpool, and uh, this is Infinity, Gauntlet. There is nothing I need worry on. Now they actually have a real Avengers Infinity Pinball Table. Free. That one Supreme. is different from this one. Doctor Strange, the best the universe is sending us to you. Such a puny force. Right. Still, she spent. Come on, already. Right down the middle. That's why I need the accelerometer. So I can shake it. Right down the middle again. You click on Octopus, right? And then you click on, let's say, we're playing Zen. And you have to launch it through the Octopus app, which is kind of annoying. I mean, I'm sure there's other ones, but this is the only one I got working. Then you click on here. I click on plus, and let's go ahead and click on a key. Bring it over here. And we're gonna program it, hit the nudge button. And let's add another one. Click on a key. Bring that over here. And hit that nudge button. And now they're programmed. All right, and then you click on, let's go ahead and hide it. So you can make them visible or invisible. Finish programming. Right here. Bottom corner and right here. So these corners are for flippers. That's like if this was a touch screen. And then this up here is for nudging. So let's go ahead and program this one. It's blinking and we're going to hit the flipper button. All right, and then this one, we're going to hit the left flipper button. And that's how that's programmed. So as you can see right here, that's nudge. And this is the flipper button we programmed. So what do you guys think about the Sharpen Virtual Pinball Machine? And what do you think about the upgrades I did for it? If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that might be into pinball, click on the share button below, share this video to them. Check out the links to purchase this virtual pinball machine and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Later guys.